Hey guys, welcome to another episode on my channel. So, as you know, in previous couple of episodes, we have been talking about various ways of connecting two boards. So, uh, I have explained UART protocol, I2C protocol, and today I'm going to talk about uh, SPI protocol. That is by far the most complicated one. So, as you know, uh, in a UART protocol, we are using uh, two wires, a part of uh, common ground, uh, and those wires are uh, TX and RX. Uh, with I2C protocol, we are also using two wires. We are using SDA for data communication and we are using uh, SCK. That stands for clock for synchronization. And with SPI protocol, we actually need four wires. We need uh, SCK, of course, uh, that is for synchronization. We need MISO, that stands for uh, Master In Slave Out. Uh, this pin, it's used uh, for a slave to send data to master. And we have uh, pin uh, MOSI, uh, that stands for Master Out Slave In. Uh, that pin, it's used for master to send data to slave. And we need a pin uh, that is called SS or uh, slave select. If you want to communicate with some slave, you need to set this pin to low. And this particular device, Node MCU ESP32 microcontroller, has four different SPI interfaces, but you could use only two because uh, first two are needed internally. On single bus of SPI, you could connect multiple slaves, but not multiple masters. And you could have only one slave per interface. If you need more slaves per interface, you need a device that is called SPI multiplexer. And now, in order to find out what pins on your microcontrollers are part of some SPI interface, you need to check uh, documentation for that particular microcontroller. So, in case of uh, ESP32, we have uh, SCK on pin 18, we have a master in slave out on pin uh, 19, we have master out slave in on pin 23, and we have slave select on uh, pin 5. But on Arduino Uno, we have slave select on pin 10, we have a master out slave in on uh, pin 11, uh, then we have a master in slave out uh, on uh, pin 12, and we have clock on pin 13. Finally, you know that I'm fond of simple examples. Uh, and uh, this uh, ESP32 microcontroller uh, sends message through SPI interface to Arduino Uno microcontroller. Arduino Uno then reads that message, and if that message is uh, 1, it turns on uh, this diode. If message is 0, it uh, turns off this diode. And the next part of this tutorial, I am going to describe code for this communication. So you have two scripts in front of you. On the right, I have a master code uh, for uh, Node MCU ESP32 microcontroller, and on the left, uh, I have uh, four Arduino Uno slave script. And in both of cases, you need to include SPI.h library. And on side of uh, Arduino Uno, uh, we have defined uh, pin 8 in order to be used uh, for our diet. Then we have one a byte message that is going to store a message that we are going to receive from the master. And one a Boolean uh, variable received that is going to be set to true when we receive actual message. Then we have a receiver handler function called uh, ISR. So you have to use uh, this part, this kind of uh, declaration, you see. Because when Arduino gets message from the master, it's gonna ask for this particular handler function. And code from that handler function is going to be executed. Now, with this first part of code, with this first line, we are reading that particular message and we are storing that result in our variable message. And boolean variable received is going to be set to true. Now, in void setup, we are uh, setting a pin mode uh, for a pin 8 to output that is going to be used for diode. You have to use this piece of code in order to set your microcontroller to work in slave mode. Then you need to set a MISO pin to output. And finally, in void setup, you need to add this line of code to attach interrupt for a SPI interface. This line works like SPI begin for master. And now in void loop, uh, if message is received, we are going to check if message is zero, we are going to turn off diode. If message is one, we are going to turn on our diode. And with this line, SPDR message, we are going to take very same content we just received from the master and we are going to send it back. So that is what this line does. And of course, I am making delay of 1000 milliseconds. On master side, things are a little bit more complicated. 
So first I have defined uh, these four pins. Uh, clock, MISO, MOSI and SS. These four pins are used uh, with SPI uh, initialization. Then I have created a message byte that is going to be sent over the wire and response that is going to be returned from the slave. Now we are setting a SS to output. Then we are going to print something to serial monitor, but this is completely not necessary. Of course, SPI initialization. Then this part is important. With this part, we are actually setting frequency. And uh, of course, in order to send a message to the slave, we need to set slave select to low. And now void loop. We are checking if message uh, is a uh, one. And if it's, we are going to set message to zero, else we are going to set it to one. With SPI transfer, we are going to send our data over the wire and response is going to be hold uh, in this variable. Of course, serial println, it's totally optional. So guys, I hope that you have learned something interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya.